Our next guest is a vegan activist, an entrepreneur from the Bronx who has educated the community on ways to honor the mind, the body, and the spirit through food. She recently published a cookbook teaching low-income people how to shop and cook as a vegan. And here to tell us more is Dario McBride. Good to have you. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Good. So you got a little struggle here, right? Yeah, it's been <laughs> a journey. I mean, we live in the Bronx. It's already um, pretty far out from the city. Mm -hmm. um, not to say that there's no supermarkets in the Bronx, but right. in terms of like access to like the clean foods, um, the foods like the pleasure foods, the ice creams, right, the vegan donuts. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I have to go to like Brooklyn for that or like Harlem. Wow, okay. um, so it's it kind of goes back to the whole narrative of the Bronx being like this disinvested in community, even just from food down to like resources so mm -hmm. for me yeah i've had to kind of like finesse my way around it but um right now i like shop at different places and what inspired me to make my book was that that struggle in itself like where do you go for food like how do i make this work because there's a stereotype that vegan food is expensive and mm -hmm. so if i can't afford it then why bother um so right. i'm here to kind of like to so that. when it comes to brother bronx right as you said there's, there's a lot of challenges because we don't have basically a, we got some food deserts we have mm -hmm. a lot of places so you find yourself going across New York City it's pretty much to stock up sometimes it depends what I'm getting like Target is one of like my safe havens and mm -hmm. obviously like Bronx Terminal Market you can go there and get stuff um, but the problem is that like everything that I personally need is not in one place you right. know how you can walk into a supermarket and everything you need is there right. like cereal whatever whatever I have to go to like Whole Foods for certain things in Harlem and then I have to go to Aldi's on 3rd Avenue and then I have to go to Target so it's uh. like can I get like a supermarket that has everything right um, so yeah but it's not that hard like I think once you commit to that lifestyle and you commit to your health you start to see how easy it is to just find what you need because it could be something simple like just a can of chickpeas you know right so how do you go about helping other people right because I know you're, you're working with individuals mm -hmm. your book I also am. helped to to do that as yes. well teaching some low-income individuals. Right. So walk us through what you do with that. I pretty much do like um, vegan coaching. It, mm -hmm. it really depends on what your personal goals are. I've seen veganism help people heal their depression, their anxiety, everything from like ulcers, it helps with diabetes. There's so many different things. So I kind of just talk to people about what their goals are. Like, first of all, what's your budget? Because we live in the Bronx, like sometimes like, I was at a point where I only had like five dollars in my account and I still managed to be vegan. A lot mm. of people be like, all I got is five dollars, so I'm just going to go to McDonald's. Right. And I'm like, no, I'm committed to this lifestyle. I'm just going to find a way. Um, so I talk to people about what their goals are and then I recommend my book to them, which tells them like where to shop, where you can find items for the low, how you can make like really good alternatives like cookies, cupcakes, or if you want like a hamburger helper kind of thing. I teach them how to make those things for a decent price. So. Yeah. And there are some stereotypes, right, that you have to debunk with being a vegan. So yeah. why, since, I, since I got you here, why don't you just debunk a few of them for us? There's so many. Um, where do you get your protein? It, that's, like, the, the funniest one to me because there's protein in everything. And personally, vegans actually get more protein, more healthy protein from what they eat, like beans, legumes, oatmeal. These mm -hmm. are all things that have protein in them that you don't think have protein in them. Even right. plants like kale have protein in them mm -hmm. there's that um i don't know just like corny jokes like do you eat grass like uh, you eat grass too you know you season your food with like cilantro right, right. So we all eat grass um but yeah things like that and i think people don't understand that the connection between the gut and the mind are interlinked mm -hmm. because 90 percent of your serotonin is in your gut so what you're eating is impacting your mood and your health so if you're eating poisonous foods chances are you're not going to be happy you're not going to be able to thrive as much as you would on a vegan diet so and so you got the boogie down vegan cookbook yes that is available um on my instagram page at the boogie down vegan puerto rican and basically you just click the link in my bio and you can download the ebook from there it has 22 recipes um everything from cupcakes to like reese's Different, really cool stuff. It's not just like you're going to be eating pasta all day. Because that's another misconception. Right, because I want to get to what that. What do I because, eat? Because, yeah, what do you eat? And there's a thought that you're giving up a whole lot of stuff, but you can have, be vegan and still have fun. You can. I mean, there's like a bunch of things you can do. There's a bunch of restaurants. There's a vegan festival every year that just happened in September where there's vendors from all over the United States who come and like cook food. There's a soul food restaurant in Harlem. Mm -hmm. There's even a, a vegan Dominican restaurant in the Bronx. It's a pop-up shop, so it's only open on the weekends. Right. But it's like people are here, like vegans are here, um, and we're thriving. It's just a matter of how can you take something that you normally would eat, like mac and cheese, and veganize that. And it's really simple, honestly. What are you looking to see happen in the future? 
I'm looking to see a vegan, like more vegan restaurants in the Bronx. I don't want to have to keep going to Harlem or mm. Brooklyn to get like something like uh, a soul food kind of touch to my food. I'm happy that Next Stop Vegan exists because they're the only thing in the Bronx right now mm. that has a real presence. But I think we have to bring the good to the Bronx. We have to bring the health to the Bronx instead of people having to always leave the Bronx. That's kind of been my experience with everything. Have to leave the Bronx for events, poetry nights, or you want to go hang out with your friends. Are you really going to hang out in the, mm -hmm. in the Bronx, or are you going to go take them to somewhere in Brooklyn or you know Manhattan? Right. Let's bring all of the joy and all the things that we deserve as a community here. So, I think you're going to be creating something, is that right? You're going to be what you, um, the fact that we're talking about all this here. I know the creative juices are flowing. They are. I'm thinking of kind of working small scale right now. Mm -hmm. I'm currently taking a business accelerator. Um, with Communitas Ventures. I don't know if you've heard of it, mm -hmm. but it's a business accelerator program where we get together with social entrepreneurs from the Bronx to talk about business strategies um, and we just like have lectures through actual entrepreneurs. So the more information I'm gaining, I'm realizing what kind of business can I tailor to serve the Bronx in the best capacity. Mm -hmm. So that's one of my long term goals for sure. Well, Dario, thank you so much for coming and being thank with us. So I think you've educated us and debunk some of the myths and we want people to make sure to know that you can go I out have. there. Now listen, if you want more information, you can follow Dariel on Instagram at dari.mcv uh, and on at the Boogie Down Vegan Puerto Rican. So don't go anywhere. We do have more show. We'll be right back right after this.